Hey guys, how's it going? It's X666X Iron Maiden today. It's been a while since I've uh, been uploading a Doctor Who episodes because of the move and all that stuff. So just as a little bit of a Doctor Who related thing while we wait for me to be able to get to those all those episodes I missed from this season. I think we've only done, what, three episodes? I'm going to be doing them, starting to do them all again coming up in this next week to get caught up for the New Year's Day uh, special. I figured we would do this fan-made video about what has become my favorite Doctor, the 12th Doctor, uh, called Without Reward. Oh, sorry, wrong button. So, uh, the 12th Doctor... Before the 12th Doctor, I really enjoyed Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor. He was he was my favorite because he had a good mixture of, uh, well, he's just an amazing actor, you know? Like, Matt Smith is a great actor. He's, he might be a little bit younger, but he's had some great roles, you know? Like, uh, in The Crown, um, he was in that playing, I'm sorry, uh, I can't believe I can't remember the name right now. Uh, was it, was it Charles? He plays Charles in it, right? If I'm wrong, I apologize. I, it's been a while since I watched The Crown, and I'm not British, so I don't follow British politics too much or anything that has to do with uh, anything that involves around the, the royals. That's it's just not something I follow. Um, and there he shows like his serious acting, but he does show it here as the 11th Doctor as well, and I fell in love with it because he was also you know, the weird, uh, childish Doctor to a certain degree. Um, could nail amazing speeches. Then the Twelfth Doctor came along, and it took a while because, as a lot of people would mention, there's a lot of decently bad acting mixed in with some good moments of acting throughout his whole time throughout uh, throughout that. Like at first, when it first started, the writing seemed a little weird. And then it got kind of better, and then the next season after that, I felt was the strongest writing one. But the last season was a little weird with the writing again. Um. But I felt, now that we see the whole performance as a whole from Peter Capaldi, that it was an amazing performance they put on, and probably one of the probably the best for me personally of the new uh, <coughs> the new series of Doctor Who. Um, and I think he'll be remembered along with Tom Baker and you know like David Tennant and all that as one of the best Doctors. Um, he just seemed to embody the Doctor perfectly and took elements from a lot of the other doctors and combined them with his own as well which just made you feel like he was the doctor and that's why we're going to be checking out this fan-made video called without reward it's a little longer 12 minutes but i imagine it's going to cover a lot of uh some of the favorite moments from the 12th doctor so let's check it out i traveled with a man called the doctor listen so all of the time and all of space is sitting out there. This is the gateway to everything that ever was or ever can be. Make your choice. What choice? Your choice. Wherever, whenever, anywhere in time and space. Oh, I don't know. That one. Oh, my God. Emoji. It's Pete's emoji. You are her hero. You go places, I can tell. My mum always said, with some people, you can smell the wind in their clothes. When did you start believing in impossible heroes? Don't you know? I'm not a hero. Why are you here? Why are you still here? Because I'm not going to leave you in danger. So I'm not going to leave you. Let the doctor will say His hair us. just got more wild as he went through the seasons. He there. helps people. And when you say it, do you believe it? Yeah. I'm sorry, Clara, I can't, I can't help you. Why is it up to me? Because it can't be up to me. Your people, your planet, I serve, at the pleasure of the human race, and right now that's you. The Earth is my home, the moon's not mine, no? Sorry. Well, that was me allowing you to make a choice about your own future. You walk our Earth, Doctor, you breathe our air. This is my world, too. That was me respecting I you. I walk your Earth, I breathe your air. Human progress isn't measured by industry. Hmm. It's measured by the value you place on a life. That's what defines an age. That's what 
defines a species. Not like, even just a small speech like that. Like mistakes. you just feel like well, you said it perfectly. I guess that's part of our charm. No, it's really quite annoying. Why'd you put up with us then? In among seven billion, there's someone like you. No, that's why I put up with the rest of them. Never small to me. Don't make assumptions about how far I will go to protect them because I've already come a very long way. I am the doctor. There have been many attempts to conquer the earth. I've lost count. I am what stands between you and them. I've been standing by the gates of your world, keeping you all the music safe. Music makes, it, sound, the makes it so much more epic, not too. Not stopping now. Good choice That's from the creator. Who I am. The, the video. doctor. You will trust me with your life. I will do everything in my power to save all your lives, and when I do, one day you will look back and wonder who I was and why I helped you. Oh, Benedict said that you were more in need of confession than any man breathing. But when the offer was made, uh, you replied it would take too much time. Tell me. You probably my would. Good man. I see into your soul, Doctor. The Daleks are evil after all. Everything makes sense. The Doctor is right. I see you. Hatred! Have you ever killed anyone? Yes. How many? That's him. Look at him right now. That's who he is. Danny. Don't tell me. You've moved on. Is that why you call yourself the Doctor? The professional detachment. You are a good Dalek. No, 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 no. And they came back around and showed. More so it got back to more than that. <coughs> meet Rusty again this later on near the, at the end. Play this one. It's like I'm trying to tell myself something. I think I know why I chose it. Just someone. Just save someone. Come with me. I know what I got this face and I know what it's for. To remind me. To hold me to the mark. That was such a great I'm way. A doctor. And I save people. Such a great way to come back around and explain why he's in there before then. And assistance obtainable immediately. You like that? Do you love it? That is the sound of your chain being yanked. Like distress calls. Why would I? Because it's what you do. All day, every day. You don't call the helpline because you are the helpline. The universe shows its true face. When it asks for help, we show ours by how we respond. And it's time for us to become friends again. Because he's right. Because it's time to stand with him. That's the trouble with hope. It's hard to resist. You okay? It's quite a moment. We're missing. Well, I've got no time. did no Sonic. I've got ten minutes of oxygen left. And now I'm blind. Here it comes. Can you imagine how unbearable I'm going to be when I pull this off? Don't do this. You always do this. Do what? Make jokes to distract me from whatever's about to kill us. I'm going to name a town after you. A really a rubbish, rubbish one. <laughs> or I'm counting on it. And probably a pig. You're blind. I am? Oh, that explains the Bruce chin. You can be very silly sometimes, you know that. I am an, an idiot. idiot. You're an idiot. You're a bloody idiot. You know that, yeah? Of course. Everyone knows that. Yeah, you're an idiot. Sometimes <laughs> you can't forget how many times you've been called an idiot by people. Let me tell you about scared. I know you're afraid. I was too scared. Scared is good. It's a funny thing, fear, isn't it? For the record, I, for one, fully understand my weakness. But you've still got to face your beast anyway. Just promise me one thing, yeah? Just promise you won't get me killed. I wanted you back by my side because it's the safest place in the world. <laughs> I will fix this. I can save you. I remember you, you said you could fix this. Were you right? No. Say it. Come on, tell me. When you wake up, you will have forgotten me. You'll have forgotten we ever even met. I don't think I could ever forget you. But imagine. Clara, I Just don't think you'll ever have to. Imagine I would feel if someone did this to you. Clara, I don't think you're ever gonna have to. Oh, good, they did show it. 
consuming tonight is all we have left. I didn't say that. Doctor, it wasn't your fault. You couldn't have saved her. This is my choice. I let you get reckless. Why? Why should I be so reckless? You're reckless by the bloody time. Well, whose fault was that? Huh? You took it upon yourself to ignore me, to do what you thought was best. Clara, you didn't. You have nothing, Doctor. Nothing. It's not fair. Clara, it's just not fair. Why can't I just lose? Four and a half billion years. That was such a good episode. I was dead and gone. Why? Why would you even do that to yourself? It's one of Peter Capaldi's I best acting on the brave. seasons. There. Isn't that one episode? Brave people. If this is the last I ever see of you, please. I don't want our last conversation to be this. Not like this. I don't want this to be our last conversation. Goodbye, Doctor. Goodbye, Doctor. But I had to say goodbye. Is it a sad song? Nothing sad till it's over. This is it, I'm afraid. So if there's anything real to be saying. I can't think of anything. These have been the best years of my life, and they are mine. The most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life. Traveling with you made me feel really special. Thank you for exactly the same. I'm oh, so sick of that. When I close my eyes, without hope. No. One of, of my favorite speeches. I don't know what you do with my pain. Without witness, and I am alone now. Hold it tight. Without reward, it burns your hand, and you say this. No one else will ever have to live like this. No one else will ever have to feel this pain. You will destroy yourself at the same time. Well, that's a price worth paying, isn't it? I'm not doing this because I want to beat someone, or because I hate someone, or because, because I want to blame someone. You are monsters. That is the role you seem determined to play, so it seems that I must play mine. The man that stops the monsters. I do what I do because it's right. Because it's decent. And above all, it's kind. I forgive you. After all you've done. I forgive you. Just kind. Another great so, speech. So, with respect, I'm worried about your plan. Plan? What plan? I think as soon as this place is evacuated, you're going to blow the whole floor, killing as many Cybermen as you can. No. No, of course not. I won't do that until I've left. Liar! It can't be done remotely. Who I am. It's where I stand, where I stand. It's where I fall. It's where I fall. Oh! Bob, you've heard of me, haven't you? Yes, but most people just call me the Doctor. I am the Doctor. You really 2,000 years old? Why? I just wanted to know how long it takes before you can make a speech like the one you just made. Doctor. Peter Capaldi really made it feel like that, too. You seem like a man with a regret on his mind. How many times have you died? Every single time! You lose, even on the moon. Oh. Alright, we'll be back in two seconds because I need to take a phone call. Alright, and continue. The shit time have to stop, but I didn't have a choice. Stairs. Oh, oh, hope. No, guess I don't remember all the lines you before. Well, don't worry, daft old man. I'm never going to believe you're weak, Doctor. 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 It's okay. It's a big universe. I hope I see you again. I don't want to go. You've been traveling. Yeah. Time to time. I'm staying. Is 
this a story or did this really happen? Every story ever told really happened. Everything ends. And it's always sad. <laughs> but everything begins again too. And that's always happy. <laughs> Be happy. Oh, that's such a good way to end. To end that video. It's such a good way to transition to a new doctor. So I'm going to remember those lines that he said there. Oh my god. The, this person, uh, I'm going to name the channel, it's uh, Margarita Life. Nailed this perfectly, in my opinion. I, I felt like all of his biggest moments were there. At least most of them. It's so hard like in a video to put all the best moments. Because some episodes have many, right? Um, I, I thought it was amazing. It had a lot of my favorite moments in there. And the music made it feel epic. And he was such like a... The Twelfth Doctor is such like a mixture of different things. Like... Oh. No, it's, sad. It's, it's sad thinking about how he's gone. We've already gone through like a whole another uh, season with a new Doctor. And I was hoping he would get at least one more. With a, I was hoping they'd keep him for when Chris took over. And hopefully he'd get some better writing. Um to make up for the kind of shitty writing that happened a lot in that last season. Um, <coughs> but I thought he was class even throughout those moments, so that this was something special for me. I, I really enjoyed this video. I know I'm not the only one that thought he was one of the better doctors. It's my personal favorite. I thought he did the best the best job out of in the new series, out of everyone, for more than just, you know... David Tennant was great. Matt Smith was great. I know a lot of people love David Tennant just because of the way he looks and because he, he appealed to a lot of the young fan base. I get that, but it's still a reason that someone enjoyed him. Uh, it's not a. It might not be a reason that I agree with, but it still. It means someone got into Doctor Who because of him and hopefully stayed in it too. Like I, I'm not going to complain about that. But I felt like Peter Capaldi was a great embodiment of the Doctor in general out of all the just covering all the bases of the doctor he still felt alien uh a lot a, a lot of moments not as much as maybe like matt smith or even uh uh in the new series you know the new sorry the new season but he still had those moments and he's and he had those moments of being angry and soft side and he went through everything it was, i thought it was just great but anyway it's been a long video, so I'm going to stop you know, yapping about So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. I'm also on Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you later.